bug. Whenever you're trying to film yourself, there's always some noise. We have arrived in Hamburg, which wasn't planned, but it happened to be a city on the route. So I came here to get some breakfast and then I'm going to head off to Netherlands. And I think I'm going to stay overnight somewhere, either in Netherlands or Belgium. But right now, need to find some breakfast. There's a lot of Christmas activity going on at the moment. So I'm hoping we'll find something nice where they allow dogs as well. It's hard to capture this at night but the hotel is actually very beautiful. I'm quite surprised. This is one of those that I booked last minute randomly because I was supposed to stay in Utrecht or the other option was to go to Belgium and stay in Brussels. But since I like Netherlands more, I thought I should come and stay here and then go into a threat tomorrow. Checking in. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, okay. Including the breakfast and the tour tax is 74 and 11 cents, please. The breakfast can you use from 7 until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. You see the red, the yeah. green hanging yeah, restaurant. Yeah. You go to the left. Okay. Uh, the dog cannot be in a restaurant, okay. so if you would like to have breakfast, you can use it here. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh, would you like to have dinner tonight, or did you? Have I'm not sure. I'll see first how diet. I feel. Uh, yeah, I just okay. need to have a shower. Can I get something for the dog? Uh, you have everything. Yeah, I have everything. Thank okay. you. Okay. When you like coffee, you can take it for free. Okay. Behind. Thank okay. you. As always, amazing, friendly. Dutch people, just like the Norwegians. Let's see what the room's like. Smells clean. Wow, it's freezing cold. That's what the room looks like. It's done in a very sort of a basic way, but I guess that's the style they're doing for. Well, at least there is a shower and a bathroom that I don't have to share with someone else. And as if by magic, I have been transported into the Ferrari. Well, not the Ferrari, La Ferrari. It's the other car. I'm back. The car has not been driven for nearly a month because I've just been extremely busy with stuff and then I was away for two weeks. So I thought today is a sunny day. It's nine degrees roads aren't icy. This doesn't have winter tires, so I thought I should take it out, let the oil flow, let the engine warm up and um, get all the parts going because it's not ideal to leave a car parked for so long, so it's good to drive it once in a while. Normally I drive my cars at least once a week, but this time I've just not had the opportunity. Coming from the Audi into this, it's a very strange feeling because the Audi is really comfortable and this is quite a, well this is 
comfortable as well, but it's a harder ride and the throttle response is so much stronger. Even though I'm driving it in comfort mode, it's very punchy. You put your foot down and the rear wheels skid. So I have to be gentle and that's why I'm driving it in comfort mode. Because in the sport mode, I think it will be even worse. The dog is obviously panting once again. He sits in the car and that's all he does. I don't know why. If anyone knows, please tell me. He's been in the cars all his life. And since he was a puppy, I've been taking him around everywhere. But whenever he's in the car, he starts panting. I had a really amazing time in Scandinavia. And now I'm thinking of going back for a month or two. What I'll do is rent something in Netherlands, in Utrecht for a month, stay there, see what I think and how I feel, and maybe rent a place in Stockholm for a month and then see what it's like. Because I want to go and experience it firsthand. I've been to Sweden about 50 times, but it's not the same as living there permanently and I don't know if I would like it as much because the last time when I was planning to move to Stockholm I didn't because it felt like a very small town compared to London but now that I'm sick of London I think maybe I need to go to a place that feels like a small town but Netherlands the people are very very friendly very nice and everyone speaks amazing English the food is very mediocre if not below average in Netherlands but I guess I'm not a foodie so it should be okay Sweden the food is better Norway the food is the best maybe I'll go to Oslo but I'll have to work out my finances so yeah a lot of things to think about and do some planning um, what I've also realized is that I built this amazing house and furnished it and filled it with stuff and while I was away for two weeks the only thing that I missed was my sound system and a few of my clothes and shoes that I needed but otherwise I came back to my house and realized we all do this because the society expects us to do it the whole programming and conditioning that we are put through makes us want these things and build a house in a certain way so our friends can come and admire it and we can feel like we've accomplished something. In reality, these things don't mean anything. To be honest, even though I have this Ferrari, I didn't miss it. I was completely happy in the Audi and I was thinking all my life I've been chasing these things thinking they're going to make me happy but they don't mean anything and this is my biggest message to my viewers don't miss out on life life is here and now it's not in the future and enjoy and cherish the people that you have in your life because the people are the most important thing. I missed my friends. I missed two of my best friends, especially Dominic and Maria, if you're watching this. It made me realize that love and people are the only connection and your route to some place. It's not the buildings and the possessions. And I'll keep making more videos. I think I really enjoy making videos. But then when I run out of things, I think, oh, my viewers are going to get bored. I don't suppose I'm Jorn Olsen or one of those big famous YouTubers who have an amazing life and people are interested. I'm just a very ordinary, regular guy. So I don't have any fancy places to show you and fancy things that I'm doing. I really, really love hearing from you guys, the comments. I feel so connected with so many people and I'm, I hope that I'm adding some value to their lives and making a difference in some way. I've made some amazing friends and we hang out and see each other and we have common interests and 
just people all around the world that you'd never ever meet otherwise uh, have become friends and so not just them their families and their friends and it's just like wow I'm so lucky anyway over and out for now <laughs>